Hi, I'm Dr. David Marks of WCBS-TV News. Thank you for attending today's donor recruitment drive. Joining Gift of Life's registry of volunteer bone marrow and peripheral blood stem cell donors is an important mitzvah or good deed. Your participation as a potential donor may provide hope to a patient suffering from a life-threatening illness for which a transplant may provide the very best chance of survival. Enrolling as a potential donor is a decision that requires careful consideration. Please, before you join the registry, take a moment now to familiarize yourself with the steps leading to donation. First, you'll be asked to read and sign a consent form that gives the registry permission to have you tissue typed and list your typing in an international database of potential donors. Donors must be between the ages of 18 and 60, in general good health, and meet certain medical eligibility criteria. You'll be asked questions about your medical history, including any infectious and sexually transmitted diseases you may have had, and your history of any drug use. These questions will be asked at this initial registration stage and at future points in the donation process. Please, you must be honest in providing your medical history. All information you provide is kept strictly confidential, and you'll be assigned a unique identification number to protect your identity. At today's drive, you will self-collect cells from inside your cheek. This sample will be analyzed to identify your tissue type and list you in the registry. If a transplant center identifies you as a potential match for a patient in need, you'll be contacted and asked to undergo further testing that requires a blood draw. This is done so the transplant center can confirm your tissue typing as well as test for infectious diseases. If the transplant center identifies you as the best match for its patient, you'll be counseled on the donation process and undergo a comprehensive physical exam and health history screening at a regional donor collection center. This is done to ensure that your donation is safe for both you and your recipient. The final step will be to donate either bone marrow or blood stem cells. Bone marrow was found in the hollow cavities of the body's large bones. It's withdrawn from the pelvic bone in an area called the posterior iliac crest. The procedure is performed in a hospital operating room using needles and syringes under either general or regional anesthesia. The second type of donation you may be asked to participate in is known as peripheral blood stem cell donation. Blood stem cells produced by the bone marrow are found in small quantities in the peripheral blood. In order to ensure that a sufficient quantity can be collected for transplantation, donors receive injections of a medication that increases the number of stem cells circulating in the peripheral blood. The cells are collected through apheresis, a process which requires a needle to be placed in each arm. Blood is removed from one arm, processed by cell-separating machines that collect the stem cells, and then returned to the donor through the other arm. The collection can last up to five hours on either one or two days, depending on the volume of cells needed. In a small number of cases, donors with poor veins may be asked to consider donation through a central venous line. Now, whether you're asked to donate bone marrow or blood stem cells, the staff at the Collection Center will discuss the potential risks associated with these procedures prior to your donation. After the collection, the bone marrow or blood stem cells will be delivered to the patient. That could be your neighbor or a stranger halfway around the world. No matter where the patient is, your generosity may offer someone a second chance at life. Becoming a donor is a serious commitment and it may not be the right choice for everyone. If you decide to withdraw after being identified as a match, you've given false hopes to someone in desperate need. We encourage you to give your decision to join Gift of Life's donor registry careful consideration. Keep in mind, you could be a match for any patient in need, now or in the future. For more information, please visit www.giftoflife.org or call 800-9-MARROW. Thank you again for volunteering to become a donor, and remember, it only takes one person to save a life. Could it be you?